In this video, I'll be comparing the different renewal cycles, as well as the professional development units, the PDUs, of the different PMI certifications. You can also go to the description box below to watch the video on eligibility requirements, where I explain the PMI certifications in more detail. So let's start off with our core certifications, our CAPM, that's our Certified Associate in Project Management. The certification cycle is three years, and during that three years, you need to acquire 15 PDUs. Now for the PMP, that's our Project Management Professional, the certification cycle is three years, and you need to acquire 60 PDUs. For the PGMP, that's our Program Management Professional, the certification cycle is three years, and you need to acquire 60 PDUs. For our PFMP, our Portfolio Management Professional, the certification cycle is also three years, and you need to acquire 60 PDUs. Now for our specialized certifications, our PMICP, that's our Agile Certified Practitioner, Certification cycle is three years and you need to acquire 30 PDUs. For our PMI RMP, that's our risk management professional, the cycle is three years and you need to acquire 30 PDUs. For our PMI PBA, professional in business analysis, the cycle is three years and during that three years you need to acquire 60 PDUs. Our PMI CP, which is our construction professional, cycle is three years and you need to acquire 30 PDUs. And then lastly, our PMO CP, our project management office certified practitioner, you need to acquire seven PDUs. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or you can subscribe to my channel for more project management related videos.